Hi, I'm Tim Tyler, and this is a video about avoiding getting eaten by robots. Now, you'd think this probably wouldn't be a controversial subject, since nobody wants to be a robot's lunch. However, the issue was recently raised by Hans Moravec, and Hans Moravec seems like a great guy to me, very smart, I agree with most of the things that he says, so um, I thought I'd share the video with you and then make a few comments. So, here's Hans. There's a, certainly a finite chance that the whole process will go wrong and uh, the robots will eat us. <laughs> and um, the, the, perhaps the thing that's strangest then about my, my view of this is that I don't, I'm not too bothered by that possibility because the robots will survive and the robots are our offspring. <laughs> and in the long run, that's the way it's going to be anyway. I agree that the future is likely to belong to robots, or at least to engineered organisms that are not made out of today's primitive DNA protein technology, but instead are descended from the technological aspects of today's civilization. And I visualize the future events as being like the transfer of human knowledge from the humans on one side um, to the machines on the other. Um, and the p problem I see with the machines eater scenario is that um, that results in a relatively rapid transfer and um, that increases the opportunity for the um, information transfer to be fumbled and information to be lost. Um, it's possible that the future civilizations won't val value the information that's being transferred across very much. Um, however, um, it is also possible that they may be interested in it um, for the sake of their history books. Um, it would be quite nice to have the option for them to preserve the history. Um, also, in case civilization needs a reboot at some stage, um, existing organisms know how to do that, whereas future ones um, don't have proved capability in that area. Um, and also, um, the knowledge may be valuable. It represents um, millions of years of evolutionary optimization pressures, um, and that information um, may be of some value to future civilizations. So um, I propose that um, we try and not fumble the baton, try and avoid the robots eating us and preserve as much biodiversity as is reasonably possible um, and let the future decide whether or not it needs it or not. Um, fortunately, I don't regard a fumble as being terribly likely. Um, we can see the problem. Um, we know how to avoid it. Um, the Probably the most um, risky um, scenario involves wars, and I don't really see too many more wars. Um, hopefully the future will be more peaceful and more moral than we've seen in the past. So hopefully um, we'll succeed, but there is some risk of um, fumbling the baton, and um, we should be aware of that risk and do our best to minimise it. So um, enjoy.